everyone welcome back to my channel so today i thought i'd do a flip through of deborah muller's best of christmas coloring book this has 250 pages and i like this because this is just strictly christmas and it has 200 pages so if you're looking for like christmas pages this is perfect and if you've never colored in deborah muller's work this is another good option for you to like dabble in it so we'll get this is like the introduction and the thank you page and the copyright page i think this is pdf as well as the other book i showed you this book belongs to page and then we're straight into the book this book is single sided so your alcohol markers will work perfect, your water based markers, just be mindful of water medium because this is Amazon printed paper. If you would like to do a body colour in this book let me know in the comments down below or let me know if you're on Instagram and I will more than happily do this. This is perfect for Christmas in July as well. And if you are using alcohol markers, just be mindful to put a blotter page between each page so you don't spoil your other image on the other side. I loved it. If anyone knows me, you know that I love frogs. So seeing frogs just makes me happy. So yeah, this book will be perfect for like Christmas in July, um, the winter period, Christmas itself, like literally anything perfect christmas in july because it's like summer but it's also christmas it's quite cool i like that i love these they're so cute you don't have to even color them in christmas colors if you didn't want to you could possibly get away with it like this one maybe not maybe not with this one but the rest probably if you color them a different color He's cute. He is very, very cute. He's perfect for like Earth Day that just went in April. There's Santa. I love the grayscale as well. So you've got grayscale, you've got thicker line art as well. You've got thin line art. You've got pretty much everything you can think of in this book. Obviously, apart from every other holiday, apart from Christmas. This is cute. I like this one. Saying that, though, this one reminds you of, like, the Valentine's Day because the heart. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, Christmas. Like, these ones with the Christmas tree, yeah, I can see Christmas. But some of the other ones aren't really... Christmas. Like this one is meant to be Christmas but I wouldn't really class it as Christmas. This one's cute, I like this one. But yeah, this is perfect for like um Christmas in July. Like like I said, the winter period, Christmas. She's gonna be a bit cold in the winter, isn't she? Love this one as well. If you guys know like what books are in this book, let me know in the comments down below or over on Instagram or however you want to contact me because I'd love to know and I'd make a little note of it in the front with a sticky tab. I haven't really ever bought Deborah Muller's work before, but I bought the big mega colouring book and I bought this one and I thought I might as well just jump, jump into it with 500 pages of the artwork. And it's a bit like compilation of pages, so I thought if I like her work I'll, I'll buy more books of this. But these ones will definitely keep me busy for hours. 
And if you are new to the colouring community, these books are perfect for like, you know, starting your collection or if you just one of them people that like just one specific like book for a thing like this one's christmas and you just want one giant christmas book this will be perfect i like when artists do that and these pages are absolutely stunning and like i said in the other video i just love deborah miller's like girls and lips i love them this is cute. I'll do that cake. That could also be like a um, birthday cake. Like you could actually cross out Merry Christmas there and actually write like Happy Birthday on it or something and like create it as like if you had a birthday in December, that type of stuff. And they don't have to be like candy things, they can be like chocolate, then like chocolate swirly cane things that you get in these guys i don't know if you get them anywhere else but they're like chocolate and like vanilla wafery type things you can make them like that and make it like a chocolate and vanilla cake oh that one with the cake this one doesn't really scream christmas or like winter to me so this is like a normal page for me it's only got a little bit of holly there but you could just colour in that and that It's cute. I like that. Just making cookies for Santa. Like this one's not really Christmas either, apart from like with the holly in the head, but baking cookies, you can do that all year round. That's cute with the doggies and the treats. That's really, really cute. I love that. Oh, I love that she's on like an older woman as well and like I said in my old other video I love like that she makes her girls like kind of chubby a little bit and like not the typical skinny girls I like it when she does the bellies and you can actually see it like they've got a bit of like a bit of fat on them a little bit everyone is beautiful in their own way by the way And that's what I love about her artwork as well. It really shows that she loves everybody's body shape. This one's more like a decoration y type. You know, like these type of pages, you know, like with cupcakes and food y type stuff. Notice that. He's cute. I love him. I love him. I love him. I love frogs. This could be actually a girl, actually. I just see them with them big red lips. <laughs> and then I'll see them with, like big red lips and then all green and like dark green spots. It's like that one I've known you Julia. That's literally me on like winter time in my garden looking at the birds and stuff. This is cute. And this can be like a winter page if you really wanted it to be. Same with this one. A lot of these can be winter silly pages as well as like Christmas pages so you don't have to get out on Christmas or Christmas in July you can, you know, mix it up a little bit. I'm not one to colour in seasons anyway so if I like a page and I want to do a page and want to do a page. I'm not a seasonal colourist at all. But I do try and try and do it in the season but I don't mind when I do it to be honest I 
But like I said, if you have this book, you want to do a body colour with me, let me know in the comments below or over on Instagram and I will more than happily do that. Like you can tell this this girl's like got a bit of like a chunky belly. But like she likes the baggy clothes and I feel like I bought her like girls. I couldn't do that. <laughs> you could if you wanted to write your dream thing that you want and what you need. Me it'll be like I want more art stuff. <laughs> I need more art stuff. <laughs> I like this as well, they've got little bits and bobs everywhere. You got colouring book, you got your little iPhone or iPad. Getting your inspiration on YouTube, covering it. Oh, I love this one as well. And these like angels, aren't they? Oh, that's cute. I like that. Freckles. I love that. You never see that. I love these side profiles on women. It's really cute. I love this one with the short hair. She looks absolutely stunning. She's cute as well. I like the way that she doesn't colour the eyes in, like the pupils. So it really gives you like an imagination. Or creativity or however you want to say it. This is stunning. I can see this like all one colour. I don't know what colour, but like a really, really light colour. And then just going over with all white gel pen and just make her, her wings stand out. You can even make them see through if you wanted to. I love that. I like that. This is like a Zendaya type one and I love it. Because it's something different that I don't have really. And these just like adorable because of the names. Like, you can't be mad at a name. Oh, this is cute. Anyone else seeing this is like the cutest thing you've ever seen. I love the little feet as well as she turns the feet up a little bit. There's Joy there. Oh, it's a mushroom house. Oh. Love it. You have like your um, your bark trees in the background. No idea what that's meant to be. I think it's meant to be a bird. I'm not too sure. There's the dragon that I love. Love the sleeping cat. This is just a stinking cute book. It really is. And like I said, this is perfect if you're a beginner and you just started out of colouring and you want to get ideas of what artists you like, get the compilation books because they'll give you an idea if you like that artist style. And then you're not committed to like one specific theme in a book, it gives you a variety. If I don't know an artist or I always want to like colour in an artist, I always, always get a compilation book for it. If the artist doesn't have a compilation book, I'll probably like see what's popular or like um, see what really does take on my fantasy.
This is really cute as well, there's the mermaids in here. I love the ones with the little hats on, they just look really cute. That's a baggy, baggy, baggy mansion. I haven't even looked through this book myself, so you're getting my first reaction to everything. I'm scared in case them candles set the actual tree on fire. I'm thinking like they're actually like them lights, they're them like tea lights. Oh, what is that? Because they're real candles, that's scary. I suppose it's meant to be like a gothic Christmas. Isn't it? I like this little octopus. He's so cute. But yeah, I got this from Amazon. And like I said, I think this one's on PDF. I know the other one is, but I think this one's also on PDF. But I love the physical copy, that's why I bought the physical copy. Really cute, love them. I love that she gives like loads of personalities in each character or animal that she does. I love it. This is really cute. Like really really cute. I like this one a lot. Sleeping with a bear. Oh, he's got a moose friend. Is that moose wearing heels? Is anyone else seeing that? <laughs> We're just going to say he's either wearing heels or he's got socks on. <laughs> But like I said in my other video, if you have these books and you want to do the image that's in these books, let me know. Like if you don't have this book and you want to do the body colour and let's say you got this image in one of your other copies of Devin Miller's original book of this page, then we can do the body colour and that's fine. For me to do a colour and chat from any of these books I'm showing you, let me know. And I'll more than happily do it. This is really cute as well. These are like winter ones now, I can see. Like these aren't really Christmas, these are more like winter, so you can do these in like January, November time, maybe February as well. Or literally if you like me and you just do whatever time of year.
snow point. Crocheting socks or stockings. That's a llama, isn't it? Oh, so cute. I love this one. I really, really like this one with the little bear. This bear is cute. It's like made out of holly. It's very in a Christmas tree. I love the way she just shows one eye. It's like, I love that. She's having a cheeky little glass of bubbly, isn't she? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Season sweetens. That's cute. There's Santa. She's cute. Either Zen Doodly dog, but you don't have to colour every little bit. You could actually colour this one solid colour. You could even, if you really wanted to, colour one solid colour, then go around every little bit in like gel pen or like anything like that. Or you can even do like these like Zen Doodly palettes more darker than the actual main image. <laughs> That's made me laugh. That's funny. Oh, a narwhal. That's adorable. A unicorn. Turtle. If anyone knows, I love turtles, so that's a really good one. Oh, the two fishes are kissing a little bit. So that was so cute. See, even on the on the sea we celebrate Christmas. <laughs> Missile toad. Ha, that's funny, I love that. I want for Christmas. Just that. <laughs> a pet dragon will do. Ah, uh, look at the octopus. I love him. I love his little worried face. This one's really cute. I love this one. Mermaids in this one as well. So you can follow Deborah Muller on her Facebook, which is Chubby Mermaid Art by Deborah Muller. Join her group on Facebook, which is Deborah Muller's Coloring Group. Instagram, Chubby Mermaid Art, Etsy, Chubby Mermaid, and then Dash Etsy. And Pinterest, Deborah Muller, Chubby Mermaid Art, Amazon, Deborah Muller, Coloring Box, 
email chubbymermaid at hotmail.com and the website chubbymermaidart.com and you can get a spare page to touch your mediums. Here are some other images of her books that she has. She has over a hundred unique and full current books to colour from. And here is the ISBN if you guys would like it. And that was a flip through of Deborah Muller's Best of Christmas Colouring Book. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, follow my Facebook group page and also give my TikTok a little bit of love. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.